All right, well, I had major success today building a uh, kitchen table steam engine or air powered uh, engine. And there it is. And uh, there was no soldering, no welding, no machine tools. Um, it's a very, very old design. And after looking at a whole bunch of different designs, uh, I came up with this simple design that has a uh, cylinder pister, piston arrangement with a little tube. It's a slide valve with a hole in the back of that cylinder. And as this slide valve goes back and forth, it lets the uh, pressure, air, steam, whatever, push this piston back and forth, which turns the crankshaft. And it's very, very old design. This is the motor right here. I'll give a um, our engine actually. It's a steam engine, and I'll give a link in the descriptions on where to find this with the complete um, instructions on how to build it. Now, I didn't build it exactly like that because I wanted to do it on the kitchen table with uh, no soldering, no nothing. So this is epoxied right there, and uh, it's a very very uh, simplistic. Uh, set up because I wanted to see if it would turn this electrostatic generator which would provide the power to run the motor here and I'll show you how this had to have very little friction I'll see if I can show you how this works here I'm just turning the steam engine here air engine and that gives the electrostatic generator enough power to put out a high voltage low amperage charge which runs that little motor. Let me stop this here and I'm going to run this with just blowing air into this straw. Now, I don't know how many PSI my lungs put out but supposedly these run on just a few PSI and that's what I wanted was a very low pressure uh, steam engine that uh, I probably won't run this on steam but just compressed air but I'll show you how this works. So I'll put the camera here so you can see it, see it run. Take a deep breath here. And there it is, folks. That's my little uh, kitchen table build steam engine. Next stop would we'll make a little boiler for it maybe or run it off uh, something else. Thanks for watching.